All right. And then uh, discussions. You're not going to really do a lot of discussions. Uh, media. Now, this is a, you're going to uh, upload a, a photo, right? Mm -hmm. These are the sizes it's going to come in. Okay. It's going to be organized in your upload folder in here. And there's going to be an upload. You see it? You see that upload uh, folder right there? Yes, I do. So that's how it's going to be formatted. So if you ever want to go by, by find the picture, it's going to be in this folder like this. Got it. Easy, right? Yeah. All right. Permalinks. Talked a little bit about that. Um, this is a plain permalink. If you up, upload your website, right, you have a completed website, SEO, ready to go, everything, right? Uh -huh. And you go to your website and you click on the home page, but then you, you can't go to the other page because it's broken. Yes. All right. Chances are it needs to be reset. All you have to do is reset it in here. Just do plain, save the changes, go back, post name, same changes. A lot of times you want to put it in here for your SEO. For search engine optimization, you can put it here. You can put it in any of these you want. However, the way that it finds it is, is different. Like for instance, say if I post something, I just want plain, right? This will, this will always work. However, if you have a hyperlink inside your post in your website and you direct it to another area of your website and you have done a, a, a long tail SEO or a permalink SEO or, you know, a URL, mm -hmm. it's going to, it's not going to read it on this one. You'll have to save it and go back to this. Most of the time, this is probably the best option. Now, if you want to go even farther and do a more custom structure, you can do it in here, mm -hmm. but this is really enough. Okay. And it's a simple post, but we'll actually have the actual name of the post. And that's, that's good for the SEO. Now you can change it in here if you want to do a little bit more, mm -hmm. but that's totally your choice. Privacy kind of gives you an information what's going on with the privacy page. It's pretty standard. Uh, collapse, uncollapse, media users. So we've, we've pretty much talked about everything on there. Do you have any questions so far? Um, oh, for the user, um, can you create, there's no such thing like group, right? It's just an user, right? You don't belong to like a uh, I main group. Can you do that or? A group of people? Like, um, a group of, I mean, like two people as an admin, me and the other guy. Do we need a group or no? No, no just add a new user. Just a user, right? There's no such thing like group, right? Belongs to that group, no. You can do that if you want, but you don't really, the group is actually user. The group is user. Now, if you want to go into more groups, you might want to do a buddy pass, more like a, more like a uh, social network. Okay, okay. But if you um, if it's just you and a gentleman working on it and yeah. you're gonna have total access, you can do uh like two, I mean. Yeah, yeah, you can have you can have one and he can have one. Okay. Uh y'all um, can't work on the same page at the same time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um you went to like one setting to like export. Is that meaning it's like you can export the whole content? Is that sort of like a backup? Yeah, this guy. Okay. Uh, it exports it into uh, an XML file, save on okay. your computer. You can back that up. You can use it as a backup, okay. but we're going to use another uh, system to do that. Okay. Well, you can. There's tons of way to back this up. Okay. So I just want to know like the best way for me to back it up. I, I'm, I'm a fan of just downloading it onto my heart onto the computer. Download into the computer. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm old school like that. Show me how you did it. Yeah, just download the whole website to the computer. Like what? And have two different co have a copy on my my uh, local, and then have another copy. But you can also do uh, depending on your server. Your server might actually have one on there where it just goes uh, back in like a time machine. 
Yeah, I do. Like I said, we, we always have the server backup, nightly server backup. But um, if I want to do another backup for my own, so I have, I, I know how can I create like the dump file for the MySQL things, right? Um, and then the content, how, is there any way, anywhere from here I can just file backup or something like that and backup? This or? will do it. Download exported file. Okay, just like that. Yeah, it will do it. And it's in there. Okay. Right? It will do uh -huh. it. Um, but you, there's other ways we're going to do it. Like, the, I think it's a backup buddy we talked about earlier. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. And there's another way we can do it too. And I'll show you. But okay. Cool. All right. All right. So we have went through the whole platform. Was there any other questions that you might have? No, I'm good. All righty. All right. Let's take a five minute break. Okay. And we will start with, what's our next category we're getting ready to start? Pre-install themes. We've talked about that. We've talked about that. I will go, okay, before we take a break, let's talk about, we're going to activate theme. Let's do that before we take a break. This is real simple. Overall dashboard, we talked about that. Yeah. We talked about the low, well, we haven't really done that one yet, but we'll do that later. Uh, Okay, the trash and so this is some yeah, well, I guess we can do this real quick too. Before we take our break, let's do this. I want to talk about activating a theme. We're gonna act say I don't want this theme, I want this theme, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna activate it. All right now it's ready to go. Yes. All right. Um say I don't want it, I don't want that one, I want a different one. I just go back, close this out. And then I'll just activate which one I want, right? But say, what, what, if, what if I want this deleted, right? I don't like the, you can't delete and activate a file. Okay, no. so it won't let you act, delete an activated file. What happens if you need to delete an activated file because your website's stuck? We have to go into here and delete it. So, Right now, 20th, what, nine, this one's activated, right? Mm -hmm. My website's been broken. My theme is broken. This works on any theme. And trust, and I've had this happen to me, I couldn't tell you how many times, but rename it. All right, so we renamed it. It's gonna be blank. You see how it says do not exist? Mm -hmm. All right. Sometimes it will not let you back in, if your theme is broken, it will not let you in the back of the data, in, in the dashboard. Mm -hmm. All right. So if we remove it, it means we can go back and do it. And why to go, well, I actually had to go in it just like this. Uh, that could be the cash though. It's not supposed to. It may be the uh, cache in the site. Doing that. Well, maybe, maybe. Okay. So what it, what it had this, this one? What this has done is it went to the next theme over. That's kind of cool now. Okay. So they've done that. Well, that's interesting. It used to be it didn't do that. It used to be it was broken, but it looks like now it's calling for the next theme over. All right. Um, same thing if, if you happen to delete everything. Oh, yeah, this one changed it over here. Okay, so they've uh, improved that. That's cool. Okay, so and then uh, post. Uh, say this is the first post. I don't want this post. I can just go to trash. Put, it's in the trash now. Mm -hmm. I have my trash here if I want to undo it or delete permanently. Okay. Same. It works the same way with the pages. I say just keep it. If you have a page that you don't want anymore, uh, unless you're really ready to delete it, just keep it in the trash. Okay. Mm, anything else I can think of right now? After the trash, it's gone, right? There's After no you delete stuff. it, you have to delete. Once it hits oh. the trash, the next step is for it to be gone. So when you hit trash, you have to actually hit delete permanently. Okay. Once it's permanent, it's gone. Forever. It's gone, yeah. Okay. It is totally gone. It is actually out of your MySQL database. 
And I wonder how we're doing on time. Bam, bam. This is a little lower. Yeah, sometimes the user will. Oh, I deleted it. Can you get it get it back for me? So that might happen. Uh, just don't delete it. Okay. You know, just keep it in the trash. Mm -hmm. Just don't delete it. I I just recommend don't delete anything. Because I've had stuff where I've, I I deleted it about two years later, and then the client was like, "Well, you remember that post we put up?" And then I had to take it down. Do you still have it? And I was like, "Yes, I do." They're like, "Oh my goodness, you would not believe! You know, there was somebody's contact in there I needed." <laughs> now, who looks like a rock star? <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, so it's happened to me. So I say, just don't delete it. Just, just don't delete it unless okay. it's really something that you're you're building, and then you know it doesn't have like information on it or whatever. But okay. it's not going to hurt it leaving there. Okay, let's take five. All move right. around a little bit. Where it's at three o'clock, so we have about three more hours left. Okay. For the uh, project. So we're going to take five minutes. Uh, 306, 307 is fine. When we get back, we are actually going to talk about putting uh, information into the uh, visual and sidebar update stuff like that. And then I'm going to send you, we're going to put, we're going to install uh, plugins. Okay, I'll see you. Bye. Bye, -bye.
Actually, I think I need to download a copy too, but I did it from my other laptop. Do you uh, have, you said you know how to use some Photoshop, right? I just stick into it a little bit. Um, I know there's like a couple layer and pretty much, you know, um, not like just a beginner. Okay, that's no problem. But we're gonna try to make this as easy as possible. Okay. So far, things been pretty simple though. Got your uh, download. download. Right. Okay, it's I already downloaded your WordPress one oh one. Yeah, you don't need the WordPress. So it should be uh, WordPress 101 zip. Yeah, I got it. All right, so we're going to open that up. Extract yeah. R, right? Yeah, abstract it. And then there should be uh, three files in there. One is okay. notes, notes two, and plugins. There should be notes and plugins too. We're going to take those notes out of the plugins, put it. Um, there's a plugin folder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna we're, we're, that. That's all the plugins we're, we plan to use for this uh, class. Of okay. Yep, I have all the plugin. All righty. So we have all these different plugins. They're all zip files. Okay. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and, go ahead and let's go ahead and unzip every one of them. You can do it here. You can do it. I just do mine. I do it like this real quick, right? Mm -hmm. Ton of folders in there. Two ways you can do this is you can, uh, what, what, what really, all these right here need to be in the plugin folder. Make this real easy. All right. So, we're gonna go back to um, the uh, ht dot file folder. You remember that? Yeah, ht dot on the map. On the map. Yep. We're gonna find the website. We're gonna go to content. We're gonna see plugins, right? right. All right. All you have to do now is drag and drop all the, the ones that you want to use. We'll just go ahead and drop, drag and drop all of them in there. And then the ones, we'll, we'll activate some of them, but not all of them. Mm -hmm. I see Elemental. That one yeah. is really cool. Yeah, I, I like it for certain things. So I, I, at first, I, I I didn't use it because it didn't give me enough. Uh, it wasn't just fast enough. But now it's okay. I use it. I use it now. I didn't use it for. I couldn't tell you how many versions. Do you like it or? Now I do. It's not as buggy as it used to be. Oh really? I, I was trying to add this plugin, but. It wouldn't take it. Oh, sometimes it's another plugin that won't uh, allow it. No, I mean, my company restricts the plugin to use. It's oh. like you can only have like those 10 plugins that I gave it to you, which is pain. You only have 10 you're allowed to use? Well, when you get a chance, I'll show it to you. It's like, I think it's like, not quite useful for me. All right, if you, yeah, send it to me when you get a chance, so I can take mm -hmm. a look at it because we can we can we can move around it. I did. 
So is is it because the the uh, education system doesn't want to use it, or is it because IT has? Uh... Okay, the story is like they pre-brand it, which is good. So you have we have our own logo. Everything's good. The same color pattern. Everything's good. But when you came down to the content, like if I'm gonna add like um, what is that like a, a table? I really have to. I really have a hard time playing around with it. I can add a sidebar, but limited at limited content for that. I'll show you in a sec. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> When you've uh, put all the plugins, let me know. So the explanation from them, it's like, um, because you only have limited, because I don't want to, you know, make it like so, it's not a fancy, it's like, the more that you get, the more confusing you will get. That's what they were saying. That's that, that Elementor is great for uh, a, a, anybody. Yeah. Whoever made that decision should uh do 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 the work. <laughs> so that's why I really wants to host my own server. Yeah. I have enough for that. That's too much. One thing we didn't talk about was URLs. How much you're going to spend a, in a URL? I think it uh, about twenty dollars a month in today's world for a domain name. Um, Some of them are going to be a little less than others, but almost twenty. I don't think we need to worry about this. It's going to be one domain name. We're gonna. It's going to be the USC. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, easy. I cannot change it. <laughs> <laughs> so this is University of uh, California? Mm -hmm. Yeah, USC. Oh. They teach uh, web development there, don't they? Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, we have a lot of student worker from them. I'm a... Uh, I'm running around teaching these classes too, so I know. I, but you teaching a, too? Oh yeah. Well, you are teaching, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I teach too. So I don't have a master's in uh in this in uh in this field, so I can't really teach students so much. I have a master's in business, though. Is that difference? Yeah, big difference. Oh, you have to have like a master in teaching student. Oh, interesting. Yes, I could, but I, I, I can teach this, no problem. What development? Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, you have to have a master's or something or a doctorate or teach mm -hmm. at a major university. <clears throat> Hi, 
Have you been to LA? Never been. I want to go though. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's a good place. You're gonna like it. Yeah, so as soon as this quarantine thing's over with, it'd be even better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's I... very quiet in here, which is like <laughs> it's no traffic. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> Normally, take me like um one and a half hour going back to work. Well, right now it's like thirty five minutes. So it's oh like wow, really cool. Now, do you teach there too? No, I'm. And uh, I'm the IT person over there. I didn't teach. Uh, I don't have a degree. <laughs> <laughs> now you don't need one for IT, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I'm not teaching just the IT department. That's all. That's good, though. Did you have a certification? Uh, I just have my bachelor degree. And then, uh -huh. yeah. I've been with USC for like almost eight years now. Oh, wow. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Have you got the uh, plugins? Yeah, I'm down to Jackpot right now. Mm. You're not installing them, are you? You just you just putting them in, right? Yes. Uh -huh. But I do need to extract them, right? You already extracted them, right? Uh, almost there. Oh. Uh -huh. Do we need all of them? No. Okay, so I have pretty much everything. Let me go there and copy it to the htdoc. So htdoc is pretty important, right? Yeah, so you HTDoc. have everything, huh? Yes. That's gonna be where your uh, my, your 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 database is calling from to get to your websites. I see. So you can you can make as many websites as you want in that area. Mm -hmm. Um, questions like compare um, WordPress to Drupal. Which night one do you like better? Night and day. Huh? Night and day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Drupal's, Drupal is a good system, really. It's fast, it's low, it's, uh, it's not as heavy as WordPress. Uh, but Drupal has, it's, it's, it, it's, their widgets are called modules. Okay. And uh, there's a lot of free stuff. And there's a lot of paid stuff. Uh, it's just really, it's PHP. So if you, if you know one of them, you can do the other one. Drupal. Uh, it's, it's a good system, man. If you want to use it, 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 it calls for it. I mean, if you're really doing an SEO campaign and you really want to outdo your competition, that probably is a good one. Okay. You so just, um, they are the same. No, no. Uh, Joomla and Drupal are closer together. Uh, say it again. Sorry. Joomla. Uh huh. And Drupal are gonna be closer together. I see. Okay. But Sorry. if you're a uh, if you really want to get into a uh, computer like a uh, web development stuff, Drupal is a good uh, solid for framework. Mm -hmm. It's lightweight, it's fast, it's dependable. Okay, I got most of them until the jetpack. Is that good enough for me? Oh, yeah, yeah, everything's fine. Okay. Whatever you want to do. Okay, so it's you got it all in your... right now. You got it all in the plugin folder? Uh, inside the plugin folder, yeah. All right, cool. So, let's go to the plugin folder. 
All right, so we're going to go back to uh, our website, admin. The WP, yeah, this one. All right, so we're back. We're going to go to uh, when you get back your dashboard. All right, so if you did it correctly in your plugin folder, you'll see a whole list of plugins. Okay, but like you said, I can always always search and then activate it, right? That's right. I just did this to uh, help mm -hmm. with time. Okay. Make it easy and fast. All right, so we have a list of plugins. I think the only thing we don't have, it looks like, okay, one other one we need to do though is, uh, is a duplicator. So we can just go ahead and hit uh, save time. Yeah, that's right, I wanted to do one. There's two of them I wanted to do, right? Do, uh, hold on. Two of them we're gonna need um, for sure. So we're gonna need a duplicate. You can watch my and then give you an idea. Dupl that's duplicator duplicate. You see where it says duplicate page? Mm -hmm. You want to install that one or duplicate post? Either one of those fine. And the other one we're gonna do is all in one migration or duplicator. Either one. I misspelled it. That's why. All righty. This is a good one for a small site. This one right here is better for bigger sites. Um, what's the size you're talking about for bigger and small? Uh, anything over 250 megabyte. Mm -hmm. This one right here a lot better for the, for anything over that. But this one right here, we 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 you can uh, do more. Also has a uh, also uh, what was the other one? The uh, backup buddy, right? Yep. I don't see a backup buddy in here. Let me see. Well, it doesn't look like it's a free one. Let me see, back up. Okay, you're right here, you can do this one. Schedule complete, automatic backups of your WordPress installation. You can back up and migrate plugin. Well, you can actually do it from the uh, migration too if you want. Uh, really simple SSL. Here's one right here, WordPress uh, database backup. You can do that. Create, restore, backup easily, single click. Um, you can do that one if you want. Backup and staging by WordPress. That's probably fine. Any, any of these will probably be okay. You mean the backup will do MySQL and the content together, both? <laughs> that one, I don't know. Let's see. It says create and restore uh, database. <laughs> Amazon. Okay, so you can back up everything to Dropbox, Google Drive, or Amazon, maybe. This one right here seems like it's pretty good. I, I, I like the uh, My WordPress Backup. My WordPress is a bad way to protect your website for server loss, hacking, migration, data easy. Uh, there's also Bulletproof uh, WordPress. You can do that and time spam if you want to go ahead and install that one. Or All in One Firewall. That's a good one too. It's decent. I mean, there's thousands of these. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. Um, do you recommend um, installing WordPress on Apache server or Windows server? It is an Apache. Uh, Apache is going to be installed on there. Apache? Yeah, Apache is going to be calling from it. It should. Windows should have an Apache server uh, availability. Or I think theirs is called something else. It's called Net something or 
Oh, okay. So do you recommend Linux environment or window environment then? Oh, I, I mean, I like Linux, me personally. Linux? Okay. Yeah, I'm a Linux guy. I'm not really a big Windows okay. person. I'm like anti-Windows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because Windows opens everything up, right? Yeah, it just... It, it's gotten so hard to use it over the years. Like, I've used all of them, but like Windows, if, if they would kept with the Windows XP interface, I think that would have been better. Just so easy. But when they went to Vista, and Vista was a pain in the butt. Seven was okay, but Windows Ten, not really my thing. But I could use it. All right. Have you uh, installed everything? Let me try. <clears throat> you don't have to activate it. Mm. page how do i go back to my wordpress dashboard i have my site already remember it's going to be uh oh wordpress i mean yeah, right? all you have to do really is go to uh map right mm -hmm. yeah go i did open a wordpress go to my website yeah i did click on the uh thing there it is um, yeah, but it doesn't give me the dashboard. The the dashboard should be on the top left hand corner. There should be like a little uh gauge there. No. Nope. Should have the WordPress logo. Nope. I see only my sample page. All right. Share your screen. Oh, sure. Okay. There you go. See it? All right. So look like we've been logged out of it. So let's go ahead and uh, where it says that forward slash is. Go ahead and WP minus sign admin. Oh, okay. You can always kick, remember me and keep it up. All right. So let's go to plugins and see if you install it right. Yeah. No. Hmm. All right. We don't see anything there. So let me delete it. those. Oh wait. Is that right? Those two. You don't want yeah, it. Right? You can delete those. Okay. So let's see. My plugin is right here. It's right here. Am I correct? Oh, there's the ones you want. Let me see. Those are right here. Click on that one. Yeah, yeah. They should be in there. Refresh. Wow. It's not in there. Huh. One to one. Go, go your dream waiver. Mine's in there. And I'm wondering why yours isn't. If not, that's fine. We can. Uh... If it's not in there, we'll have to delete those and then we'll have to do it a different way. Okay. But um, 
We will see in a little bit, won't we? Yeah, it's probably it, it, it's weird on it. Sometimes those things will do real well. Sometimes the, the uh, Dreamweaver opens a lot slower on my laptop than it does my desktop. Let me save this file first. Minimize this one. That so long. I just want to see if it's in your. Uh, there's something that we're not looking we're at. Responding. Oh, there you go. All right, go down to. Uh, plugin. Plugin folder. Uh, where is that at? Go ahead and, uh, yeah, minimize, yeah. clap, declap stack, yeah. In plugins. Yeah, they're in there. Huh. All right, go back to your WordPress. Go to plugins. Install it. Plug it. No, just plugins. we we'll try to install. Maybe there's a different. Wow, we have nothing. Can we add new and see what happens? Yeah, so we're going to have we're going to have to do this the old fashioned way. All right. I thought we could do this real easy. Okay, so you know how to do it from here, right? The other way we're going to do is go back to those uh, delete those out of the plugin folder. I was going to do this. I was going to do it the fast way, but you can delete all those. Delete. All right. So you see where it says upload plugin? Mm, okay. Oh, find nice. them. Yeah, find them. Ooh, where are you? Right here. No, that's that's a zip folder. We don't want to do that oh, one. Okay. Uh, can you do this one? Let's do. Oh, which one? Oh, Any one you want to do. I'm just gonna show you how to do this real quick. But that's a zip file, or a... yeah, yeah, you want to do zip files with this one, yep. Yeah. And just hit open. Install now. Activate. Okay. Okay. So that's another way. Yep. Yeah. Go back to plug in. So those are the two ways you can do it. Actually, all three of those ways I showed you. The so uh, the eat this you know, one. Yeah, yeah. You have to do that one by one. You have to do the other ones, but you don't have to do that today. You can do that uh, later. Yes. Okay. On your I'll own time. Later. Yeah, yeah. Later on this afternoon. Okay. Do that. Okay. So we. Ha you have the plugins. You have. The WordPress, you kind of got an uh, idea of WordPress. What we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to look at the page inserting content. So we're going to go to pages. All right, so go ahead and make your sample page your home page. This is a block editor, which we're, we, 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 we plan a little bit in it, but not much. Not probably tomorrow is where we're gonna get in this. Okay, you see where it says it's a template, right? Well, we want, what we wanna do is we wanna make it either page zero or one, right? So scroll yep. down a little bit. Zero. Yep, okay, so we got that. Make, change it from sample page to home.
All righty. So now we can just hit a update. Okay. Go, go, you can go ahead and preview if you like. Okay. Cool. So now what we got to do is we got to uh, make a uh, blog po page, remember? Mm -hmm. Blog, go to pages. Go to po all po pages. Sorry. All right. So we're going to make a, uh, a blog page. So we're going to add new. We're going to hit, we're going to type in the word blog. Blog. Uh-huh. The word blog. Uh. On the right-hand side or left? One? No, no, where it says block. Oh. On the header, yeah, yeah, right there. Oh, okay. So type in the word blog. Right? Yeah, 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 do that. And then uh, what you want to do is you want to go, go scroll scroll down. The order. You see what is order? We're going to do either, uh, I always do 50, just to put it in the middle. Mm-hmm. Hit publish, but that can change. All righty, let's see. All right, you understand how to write stuff in the blog, right? Post some rights. Yes. Uh -huh. right All right. So let's go ahead and go to. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, tell WordPress the homepage and the blog. So we're gonna go to dashboard. We're gonna go to settings. I'm going to go to writing. Oops. writing. Reading, maybe. Reading. It says uh, home page. Go back up. Your last page, your last post, uh, le your latest post. You see where it has a static page? Click on that. Yep. We are going to go to uh, home and we're going to go to blog. Okay. All right, we're going to go ahead and save that. Very, very cool. All right. So let's see where we're at. You got, we understand the, uh, you have any questions so far? No, I'm good. Thank you. Good, good, good. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is let me see the book. What we have uh, class at Bloomberg. Let me see what you get. We'll get in that shortly. I'm going to do that right now. Give me that. Pictures. All righty. So it looks like we're going to do some aesthetics now. All right. So in order to uh, build a website, we have to actually have a layout, right? We got to know uh -huh. how the user is going to use it. Yeah. And what we got to do next, uh, we're going to take a uh, five uh, minute break, mm -hmm. stretch our legs. When we get back, we're going to build a layout. Okay. We're going to do a site map. We're going to do a site map and a layout. So uh, be back in five minutes and we'll do that. All right. All righty. Yep. All right. See you in five. Okay.
Okay, okay, okay. Hello. Alrighty. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, good, good, good. All right, well, we ain't got very much longer. Let's see, it's uh, almost four o'clock, so we have about what two hours left. This, I guess, uh, this is probably gonna be the fun part. I don't know, maybe not for you, but for me. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Dick, no man, I'm a de I, I design, so you know, I love colors and stuff okay. like that. Yeah, oh. good. that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Hope you're learning lots. Yeah, I do. I do. From from the beginning to until now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cool, right? Yep. Pretty cool. Yeah, I like it. A lot simpler than it looks, right? Huh? I'm sorry. I said a lot simpler than it looks, right? Uh, not on the installation part. Like, um, kind of like struggle a little bit for me at the beginning because I'm kind of new. So that part, I really struggle a lot. Yeah. So now it's much clearer. So I want to practice on my the other laptop. Well, what's cool is honestly, now that you have it installed, you don't have to do that anymore. All you have to do now is take a, the WordPress folder and stick it in there. Okay. For my. Uh... In that same uh, HT doc f folder. Mm -hmm. You can just add the WordPress just like we did last time mm -hmm. and move it in there. Okay. It's pretty cool now, huh? Mm -hmm. you you really will never have to install a uh, WAMP again. You mean <laughs> on different computer? Well, you just use your computer, but you can always clone it. But yeah, you, I mean, you can put it on another computer, but yeah, practice it. See if it won't help. But you know, you, you don't ever have, you really don't ever have to do that again. Why? I mean, if you, because you already have the uh, software on your computer. But that was on my, on this laptop, if I want to play around with the other desktop, because it's local host, right? Yeah, yeah. What you can do is you can just actually put it on a jump drive. Oh. And then just put it in the jump drive and then move it over to the file and put it in the folder. It's already installed. But don't I need man? M-A-M-P? Yeah, but you can just you can just put the whole map in into the uh, USB folder. USB. Oh, I see the whole folder right yeah. here. Yeah, oh, it, should, it, should, it, it should go ahead and activate, I would think. But I mean, oh. it does it does it on a Mac. Huh? He'll, do, he'll do it on a he'll do it on Apple. I don't know about uh, P, uh, oh, PC. Okay. The other one is Windows also. I just want to play around with it. Yeah, yeah, play so, around with it. You got it though. I mean, for the most part, you see how you you see that uh, if you have any problems, just downgrade the. Uh, PHP file, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The seven point something. Yeah, yeah. It's the same thing. Ain't no difference, really. Okay. Let me play it's, it, it's, 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 it's the difference between, uh, I guess, iPhone uh, 10XR versus 10, 10XZ. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No one knows what the difference is. Okay. So you mean you see my screen so move this one to my another desktop uh, laptop and i should do it right yeah or you can just install it whatever you want to do okay okay i'll try to copy it to my another desk uh, laptop and see if that will work or just download it yeah just download the install file and download the install file or put it on the jump drive or whatever man just you know just play with it. if you have any problems tomorrow we'll work on it okay gotcha thank you no problem. I think we're actually a little ahead than what we're supposed to be. Yay, that's good. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah, I was worried about at the beginning. Oh, we cannot get it up running <laughs> for the install. Oh, that, that, all that stuff's uh, kind of over with now. So we don't have to worry about the install anymore. We we got Dreamweaver. We got, we're all set up and ready to go. All right, so now we got to think about building a website, right? Yes. Okay, so how do we build a website? Uh, actually, the first step is a pencil and paper. Believe it or not, ain't that crazy? Oh, so you draw your idea first? Is that what you're saying? We're going to start. All right. Uh, or 
We can either draw it on pencil and paper or we can draw it on uh, Photoshop. Either is okay. Which one would you like to do, pencil, paper, or Photoshop? Let's do Photoshop so we can learn some Photoshop. How's that sound? Sounds good. All righty. So let's talk about a little bit about formats when it comes to internet, right? Okay. There's a couple things we need to know. Okay. You want to share my share the screen or? You want yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and share. I'll, I'll, we'll go to my screen. Okay. All right. A couple things we need to know. Share screen. All right, a couple things. You can see my screen now? Yeah, I do. All right, so for this part, we don't need Dreamweaver. So we can delete, we can uh, exit out of that. This part, we don't need WordPress. We're going to get in that stuff tomorrow. Editing po uh, th all this stuff, we're going to get in that, that tomorrow, looks like. Uh, we don't need no Google feedback. We don't need this. We don't need none of this. So we can, we don't, you can actually discontinue MAMP if you want. Turn that off if you want, but you don't have to. Wouldn't necessarily. Quick. I would say maybe Notepad. Just to get uh, some things going. But we are going to talk now about web formats. All right, so images need to be compressed in order to load quickly. So what does that mean? We want our images at 72 DPI, which is dot per inch. Printing is at 300 DPI. So if you want something printed to have a nice quality image, you want it 300 DPI. On the internet, we want it to download fast so it could display quickly. So we want that at 32 DPI. All right. So how do we do go about doing that? Well, we first we got to get some images together. So what kind of images do we need for a website? Well, Obviously, we're going to need a logo, right? Logo could be an image, an icon, or text, right? You can hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? I'm sure she's still on. Yes, I can. Sorry. Okay. I just undo it. Okay, cool. All right. So a logo is going to be an image, an icon, and some text, right? Or mm -hmm. a text. All right. Well, what else are we going to need? Well, we're probably going to need a heading, a header image, right? Mm-hmm. Or we're going to need a car carousel image. Mm -hmm. Is that right? I'm going to try to spell that correctly. Right Carousel image, right? We're gonna need those. Uh, oh, we're also gonna need some information about the website. Yeah, the content. Content information, yeah. All right. So what? What? No. Uh, on just on that end, what do we need? All right. Well, we need homepage text, right? Mm-hmm. We need about page. Mm -hmm. uh, what else are we doing? We're doing events, right? Yeah. We're doing events. Uh, well, so we, we already know we have a blog we need to do. So a blog. And we, go, we can also put our newsletter in our blog, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what else do we need? Are we doing any services? Do we offer any services? Yes. Services. Well, how many services do we have? So, say for this for for this example, we can and we'll know probably more tomorrow. We have we have two service, three services, right? We have uh, 
maybe uh, I say a resume service, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe we have a uh, a job listing. Yeah. Uh, on boarding service. Boarding job job listings and boarding is that the same thing? Uh, uh, Something different. Let's just leave the job listing, and then the other one will be uh, is that um uh benefit. Benefits. Oh, benefits are going to be a lot of different things on that one, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, what else do we need? We, we're probably going to need a contact. We're also Foot, going to need footer. a what? The footer. Like, um, oh, yeah, like we're, the footer. We're, yeah. You're right. We're going to need a footer. And in the footer, we're probably going to have some information, maybe a map. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe social media, right? Right. Uh, office hours. Hours, yeah. So office hours. An address. So we probably don't need a map if if we're gonna do that, but we'll we'll talk about the map in a second. Social media, office hours, and address. Uh, what else would we want in there? Maybe a um, hmm. maybe a recent post. Yeah, maybe. It's it's cool to have it on the footer because it goes throughout the whole website. It means every time there's a new uh, content, uh, Google knows that there's something new on throughout the page. So it might that might be okay. Maybe not. Well, we can always change it. All right. So we have home, about, events, blog, newsletter, services, contact. All right. So obviously, we got to look at importance. So right now, we know homepage, about, oh, did, what about staff? Are we doing staff? What do you mean by staff? Like, um... like staff for the people. Uh, would that be about? Huh? Yeah, we'd like to see the picture of yeah, the yeah, staff, of the right? Yeah, mm -hmm. we do. So, yeah, so we're gonna do staff, right? All right, okay. So we kind of understand this, right? So this is actually the order of our website. If we night label this one, two, no, label that one. We're going to label that two. The, these two right here are going to be the, the same numbers. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go ahead and put a, a everybody won't know what that is. All right. This is just general information, right? Now we have to break this thing down. We need the content for the website. Welcome, right? Mm -hmm. Welcome. Mm -hmm. All right. What else is going to be on the website? Chan on the home page. Chances are, maybe we we, we know we got to have a newsletter sign up, right? Mm -hmm. Well, what else are we going to have on there? Maybe we have a map on there, right? Get to it. Uh, what else can we have in there? We're not doing a portal, right? Portal? The portal, yeah, where people sign up. No. No, nah, we don't need that. Okay. So we're, we're cool. Okay, so this is probably good for right now, right? Mm -hmm. Or maybe recommendations. Yeah. Or. Uh, um. What about benefit calendar? Like. Uh, oh, you uh, want a cal? You want a calendar? Yeah, I do want a calendar. Like. Now, how do you want the calendar work? Uh, it's gonna be a team calendar like they share the one calendar could be is that all is that a, is that more of a calendar for events could be yeah yeah calendar for events so we probably need a feed of events here right mm -hmm. feed of events which is going to be a what what, what is this going to be uh the onboarding schedule, like for no, no, no. What, what, what kind of feed is this going to be? 
Mm, feeding from outlook, maybe. No, what we call this RSS feed, right? What is that? In uh, re remember we talked about RSS feeds earlier. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you don't, we'll go ahead and take a look at it real quick. Remember how we uh, they have like meeting like a post. Remember how we talked about how uh, a post our feeds. Uh huh. All right. See, so we have uh, published your latest content structure XML data. This is the de this is the back end of it. This is how this is how it works. We have built-in RSS feed. So what happens is we post a, a new event, right? The calendar. Uh huh. Now we don't need a whole calendar on a home page, right? Because we want to reduce the amount of uh, data. But we do would like to have an RSS feed, maybe an RSS feed with an image, right? Image. The RSS what? feed goes to a, and has a link, right? That goes to a post on a calendar. You see how that's working? Mm -hmm. So what can we do with this? We can put this in other websites, or we can get people to subscribe to this, so we can go to the, right to their. Every time they uh, a new feed is going, the people can because people who subscribe to the feed will know. Okay. So this is a very this is what we call a uh, this is what we call a function. Okay. And some people might call it something different, but it's really a function. But they, I mean, you can have millions of different functions. But the main calendar is where events. However. Depending on our, how we design it, it could be all kinds of different ways. Well, we know that we have to have something on the website, right? Mm -hmm. So saying that, we have to place it somewhere. The order of importance. Is it more important than a welcome or more important than the newsletter or map? Okay. It's probably more important than the newsletter, right? Not as important as the welcome because the welcome gives you an introduction to what the website is. Mm -hmm. But we know that the RSS feed image calendar post, right? We're going to go ahead and lay, lay the calendar. Is information that people need to uh, get a hold of quickly. Right? Like right, this is right now content. Oh, wow. Correct? All right. So now that we understand that, so that's this feature is more important than this newsletter sign up. Here's a cool thing you can do: is it more important than a map? Oh, or is the map? Oh, is that going to the office? Yeah, going to the office only, so it's not critical. Just the map for that. Okay. HR office. But is it more important than a newsletter? To subscribe, probably about even, right? So we'll, we'll just leave it alone. So we know now on our home page, we need to design a home page welcome, calendar feed, right? Newsletter. So it goes from they click on here, they go on here to get detailed information. Now we have to find a, a plugin how we're going to use this. Now, there's a lot of things we can do uh, depending on what your strategy is on this. Are we doing any Facebook plugin? Are we doing any Facebook events? Are we doing any uh, Eventbrite type stuff? These are things that you had to think about when you're designing your website so you can integrate it quickly. Mm -hmm. I don't know your... Uh, I think it's events plugin. Because every other week will be like our payroll date. So payday is every other week. Onboarding, it's also like once a month. Okay, so, we, 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 so it's really not, it's not going to the general public. Correct? Mm. No, it's just going to a certain group of people, right? Yes. All righty. So this is what we kind of got going on here. So we have 
it's probably going to be a decent plugin. We don't really have to do any third party systems. We can do it all from WordPress. So we just need to find a calendar feed and link that will do this. Mm -hmm. Simple. So we got that. All right. And we have a map where they pick it up. We have about, right? Mm -hmm. About now we have about and we have a staff, right? So the about and staff could probably, this could be a drop down, right? So we need to, we need to tell a little bit about the service, the, uh, the, the department. Yeah. The service is, it's critical. Well, this is more about the department. What is the mission of the department? Are hiring, onboarding, and yeah, you just talk about what your mission is. Your my mission is to help uh, help uh, help employees. This is whatever right mission resource. you have. You don't even really need it, but you could do actually staff instead. But either way, the staff. How many people in the staff do you have? That you okay. want to fit? Uh, 15. So you got 15 people, right? Mm -hmm. So probably we're going to do at least one and then you can copy and paste. But what do we have to do to get these 15 people? We have to, uh, one, we have to get a have profile the... image. Exactly. All right. Or an avatar. Right. That sounds cool. What's Either one yeah, we just got to put them in, right? All right. So the next thing is services, right? Mm -hmm. So each one of these have to be a page or they have to be a section. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the difference. One we can drop down, right? Drop down list where they can click, go which one they want, or they go click on services. And then depending on how much content's in each one of them, right? Mm -hmm. So it's always best to have one subject per page. Okay. So depending on how much information, if it's not a lot of information, then we might be able to put it on one page. If it's, if it's a lot of information, then we may need to break it up. Mm -hmm. I'd say if it's more than three paragraphs per one, we'll need to, we'll need to break it up. All right. Events, calendar plugin, right? So we know that this has to be compatible to this. So this is what we got to look for. Very simple. Once we find a, a plugin that is, uh, does both features, we are good to go. Mm -hmm. Blog. Uh, a, quick a, link, uh, maybe another one. Quick link back to usc.edu. I'm to sorry, I didn't understand what you said. Uh, I'm sorry, a quick link. Quick like, link. Um, yeah, kind of like going back to some other um, university departments, like uh, going back to, like kind of like redirect back to the main page of USC, you know, in case they couldn't find more information from here. Uh, like a sidebar, sidebar. <sighs> Where do you want the sidebar to go? Because it sounds like if you're going to do a quick link like that, I would just put that in the footer. Okay. That will work. It'll be, it'll be one time. Uh, and we can call this quick link or we could call this uh, the school. You can have the logo with the link or back to school. I don't know. Uh, all right. It's the, the blog newsletter. We know we're going to need a sidebar, right? Mm-hmm. We're going to have recent post. And what else we're going to do? Uh, archives. All right. Mm -hmm. So this archives is going to be January, February. And say, for instance, somebody comes here and they say, oh, what happened in January? What happened in February? You can do all the 12, you can do all 12 months. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. Easy contact that's just a form right and a phone number that's true the address business hours yeah same thing that's down here right yeah and uh anything else that we think we might need there maybe we have a map there too right or do we if we put a map there do we need a map in the home page no 
So no no map on the home page, right? No. So we can just put the map on the contact page, right? Mm -hmm. Very cool. All righty. Well, we have a uh, basic idea of what our website should look like and how it should function. All right, so now we get to lay it out a little bit. The header, do we need a search for information? Yes, we do. So we need a search feature, don't we? Mm -hmm. Yep. And we needed that in the top, right? Yep. All righty. So let's go ahead and uh, save this as our outline. So you normally do this first before you work on the content, right? So you normally discuss this part with your user, with the whoever the request? My client. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I this is a, what we call a strategy session. This is the beginning of the thinking process. Mm -hmm. um, I This is not the first step. The first step I do is a, uh, I look, a lot of times I work with a lot of uh, medical professionals and printing companies and restaurants, but mostly medical. Um, we go through and see what uh, is the uh, main source people pay uh, searching for. Like one thing people are always searching for in, low, in the, any market is pain, what kind of pain they have. Mm -hmm. And so we try to find ways where we can uh, attract people to come to relieve their pain. Sure. Mm -hmm. All righty. So now we kind of got an idea of what kind what's going on here, huh? Pretty cool, huh? We have that. Now we got to kind of draw it out, kind of sketch it a little bit. So we're going to use Photoshop to do this. And this is something that you could do at home and you can move and move around, but we got to kind of get an idea of what what the website look is going to look like. It can be blocks, circles and squares. It does not have to be perfect at all all right so this is photoshop beautiful isn't it what we got to do is we got to create a new document we need one for web all right we also need to design it for mobile, but we're going to either one, it depends on how you want to do it, but mobile is probably going to be first. You should always design for mobile first, right? Luckily for today, most of the time in today's world, we can, we can do, we got to think mobile first, but we can also do what's most common and what most people are going to look at. What is interesting today is that over 50% of the people consume internet content from a tablet device or a tablet sized device. Mm -hmm. And that can be actually a small laptop, like a Mac air mm -hmm. or a uh, Chromebook or a small PC, you know, say uh, 13 to 15 inch, 16, 17, maybe 17 is pushing it, but most, uh, you know, between those realms is, is good, right? Mm -hmm. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do what's, what's most common used. And you see, remember I talked about three, uh, 72 DPI? Yep. We got that there. So what are we going to call this? We're going to call this index. All right. This is an artboard. I don't like using artboard, so we're going to remove it. A couple of ways you can do that is you can convert it to a smart object or whatever. I'm going to go ahead and do it like this. This is our grid. This is our grid at 100%. Now, my screen is a lot bigger than the most common, right? Mm -hmm. So we, but we really only need to design it for this realm. Uh, depending on what other little things we can make can make it bigger. Remember, this isn't a uh, set in stone design. Okay. This is a Draft. idea. 
-hmm. but we can make it bigger. We can make it smaller. All righty. So I do know that we have these areas where we need to figure out what we're going to do. So here we're going to put a logo. I always like to build stuff in a uh, you know, gray, gray scale first, black and white and gray. Okay. Reason I don't have to think about color. All right, so we know this area gonna be the logo, right? Most logos are gonna fit in that realm. Logos should be in square shape or an icon. If you have an icon, you can do, use it like that or you can just use it like that. Mm -hmm. Either way is fine. We can label it later if we want to. Now we know we need to navigate. We need. We know we need a search bar, right? Uh huh. Now you can you can download UI UI tools if you like. On uh on freepicks dot com or something like that. But we know we, we're going to need a search bar. We're going into search bar, right? Mm -hmm. And search bars are usually up in somewhere like this, right? Right, on the right, yeah, top. Yeah, something like that, right? Mm -hmm. It could go any direction. It doesn't, pretty close, okay. So we have a logo in this area. So it could actually go on the side here or whatever. Remember, we're just trying to sketch it out. We have a navigation. Uh, navigation text size is going to be minimum is going to be 16, but we're really going to do about 21. It looks nice at 21. We can change the space out if we want. We can bring it closer. But again, really, we're not really worried about any of that. We're not even really going to be worried about um, fonts or any of that right now. We just kind of get a basic understanding of what's going on. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, and so how do we do this in Word in uh, in uh, Photoshop? We made a square. Navigation, of course, I always like to put everything in folders. So we got one more. We have a, I clean it up a little bit and then we have a search. All right. We can do it like this if we wanted to, but we won't have any more room if we want to add more. We better probably could do it like this, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. We could do it in the middle. 
like that, right? Mm-hmm. But we would, but we really need to know what the logo is. The logo is actually going to help uh, maneuver the whole site, believe it or not. We can also do something like this if we wanted to. You've seen that before, right? It looks nice. Yeah. So th this is all kinds of different cool things. So this is kind of cool. We're going to leave it like this for right now. We have a lot of open space here, so we can add more stuff if we need to. We also know if we pictured the website. In a mobile, right? It's probably going to look something like this. Yes. Like that, right? Or like this with the X or menu, right? Something like that. But you got you got you see you see how it's going how it's starting to unfold. Yeah. All righty. All right, so the next thing is we have is a, a header image or a carousel slideshow. Did y'all want to do uh, a header or did you want to do a carousel? Let's do a carousel. More. All right, how many uh, images did you want to slide? Let's do two or three, yeah. All right, let's start with just two and then we can always have app options for doing more so carousel right we already know the width of the image needs to be full right or it could be like this if you want with information right mm -hmm. so how did you want to do a full width or a half width let's do make, let's make it easy let's just do full right okay that way we don't have to really program anything else all right. Grayscale again, but we're going to keep it away from black. And then we also know that we need either little buttons out here at the bottom or on the side. For this project, we're just going to do a couple buttons on the side, on the bottom. Because there's no point if it's going back and forth to do, you know, um, arrows, but we can. We're going to do little squares on this one, but we'll we'll do we'll work on it later. Mm -hmm. We'll work on the actual design design later. Okay. All righty. So now we know we have to increase the canvas. We have to increase the height. And so let's do 1500. All right. Now we need the next thing we got to do is we got to have an importance of welcome, right? Uh -huh. This is an eight, uh, a heading. So it probably needs to be nice and big. Probably somewhere around that we can center it for this project bring this down maybe lower left some content Depending on how much text we're going to put in here, that's going to be our text. And then the next thing we have to do is we have to have a calendar, right? And mm -hmm. so we'll probably have to add some more space. You're good on Photoshop. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, many, many, 
Say it again. How long you been using Photoshop? Oh, I've been doing this over 15 years. Oh, okay. I just started it. It's like, oh, okay. I got used to the layout. You can think about it like uh, on top of each other. You know what I mean? Yeah. Since this is going to be our footer. Okay. And since we're already down here, we will go ahead and put some text down in here. We're going to be closer to this, this range. Oh, I forgot. We probably won't do this one. We'll probably put this in here, actually. Uh, didn't even think about that. You don't really. We need another. Um, our privacy and our. Uh, And site map need to go in here. I oh, know that's misspelled. Oh, oh, Is that right? No, I didn't spell that right, did I? I guess so. And then site map. So these two need to be in here, right? Yep. All right. Then the next thing is what did we do earlier? Social media. Links. We can put that on that side. And then office hours and address. You also need a copyright at the bottom, right? Yep. All right. Welcome. We got the events. There's going to be a feed. So normally when you do this, you get an approval from your client saying, hey, this is what we're, we need for our website. You want to get an approval on this and say, hey, uh, this layout looks correct. This is something that we could do. Uh, because if, you, if they say yes and they change it, you could charge them. If you go and tell them, the first thing I'm going to do is say, let's change this, so let's change that. But if they tell you at this point they want to change some of the layout, then we can do it easy. Mm -hmm. We want to do, we want to get everything kind of laid out before the, uh, before we submit. Right. Mm -hmm. So now we got to get pictures. We got to get pictures for here. Yep. We got to get RSS feed, maybe a background picture here. Maybe if we're going to do a, what they call a, uh, a paradox. Uh, or we take the sections, each section has its own color. And what I mean by that is you don't have to do anything real fancy. You just change the color here. 
So it separates it. The background color. Mm -hmm. You can do it there. You can do it there. Or an image, a paradox, and you do it here. You see how now it looks like it's, it's sep everything separated and clean? Mm -hmm. So if you want to take that big block out, you can do that. And then you can get some text to put in here. You can put text here, this side, image, this side, whatever. But you see how we got a nice little layout going? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly like we have our web page already. All righty. So we're going to label this index. Now, I don't expect you to do this today because it, it, uh, Photoshop is a, is a, uh, you need, you need to learn that. Mm -hmm. So this is something you can practice. Consider this is not a Photoshop class. This is a web development class or a WordPress class. Now when we have this, we're going to duplicate it for each page. Okay. So it's kind of like using this theme, right? Well, we, we, you can call it as a theme yet, but it's really what we call this is wireframing. Mm. Okay. And th th this, because we're not going to need a carousel on the about page. No. no. Right? No. It's just a paragraph. It's a, yeah, right? Mm -hmm. We don't even need this length. Right? Mm -hmm. So we'll have a paragraph, maybe information about the school too. I don't know. Whatever y'all decide to do. Uh, that needs to be done. Uh, just the content, maybe a picture, a picture in this area. This is what we're going to call, uh, we'll have a background picture in here. Mm -hmm. Maybe the school or whatever. we got to find exactly what dimensions we need. That, mm -hmm. this area right here can change or not change depending on the requirements or if, if it's mandated or not, right? Yep. But we're going to go ahead and save this as about. The next one we, we're going to jump down to, and it's going to be staff, right? Yes. So we're going to do staff. And then staff, we're going to have to have uh, pictures. Right. Probably going to be uh, probably a square shape, right? Yeah, and then their um, contact information, phone number, the email okay. address, one by one. Name. Mm -hmm. Title. And then we'll say contact. Well, you, you, we can do all that stuff in there. Okay. But you can just kind of go back and think about, hey, uh, what, what, what all do I need on this? And then you, you'll get it as it comes and we can duplicate it. curious. So since we are doing all this um, Photoshop file, is there such a things in WordPress that you can import your layout into WordPress? Nah, this is the, this is, this is the idea concept. This is really, this should be part this of the, the concept. Yeah, this is the concept. This has nothing to, this really doesn't have too much to do with the course. We have enough time today where okay. the next step, the next step we have to do is build. Yes. Okay. And we can't build without this. Yep. Got it. Because I was thinking about um, uh, Visio, like Visio can import into a SharePoint, you know, the, the Visio yeah. template. 
the logic and import into SharePoint. So I was just asking, just curious. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not a big Visio person, but I do know a little bit about it. SharePoint, I know a little bit about it, but I don't really like it. This is so much easier to work with. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, I haven't had any projects with it in a long time with SharePoint. Okay. But even yeah. if I had SharePoint, I would still, this is the way I would build it. Okay. Uh, okay, so we have that. Next one's going to be. So we got staff. The next one's going to be events. This is a calendar. So. We're going to pretend like this block, big block of uh, this rectangle is a calendar. All right, now services. It's going to be next. So if I have like two laptop for my case, I can install um, those two laptop with Photoshop, right? Yes. Once I have to. Yes, right? Because yeah, as long as you're as long as you're licensed, you can do it in any you can download Photoshop for anything. You just got to make sure that your license is compatible for it. That's it. Okay. Services. Uh, we may have three pages. We may not. So if we have a drop down, we'll have to, we'll have to count that in. But right now, since we're not, we don't know, we're just going to do this. Mm -hmm. These either represent a download a, a here as a drop down or it, this, in the middle yeah it's gonna yeah. be a link direct to another page or you know job posting we have a usc career site okay so job okay. postings if, if that's a usc career site we may need to put that on the home page or we put it on both pages that's something that we got to talk about too because we may want to have a people click on the home page go right to it or actually just go to events it just depends we'll, we'll see what we'll, we'll, we'll look at it and we can make okay. adjustments by the way, I have the site, you know, started a little bit, but it's so much limitations, um, like I said before. So we can take a look at the, the existing one that I built so far. Okay, we'll do that. You got blog. You can call this blog, post, or news. I use all of them. The blog has a sidebar. You see how important this step is though, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially you came up the idea for your client so that they can, you know, make adjustment before you actually build the site, right? Yes. Yeah. That is, that's when you know you have a beginner when they don't, they just build the website and then it's like, Hey, let's take a look at it. And then they're like, Oh yeah, it looks cool. Right. Mm -hmm. The next thing you know, can you change this, 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 and this? Yeah. But they didn't account for it. Okay. But, but you said before that you came, you talked to them, like, what do you want to search for? Like, um, the most critical one, that part, how do you do it? Like, I do this, I do this. That's a strategy. And I look through Google Trends and Google AdWords. Google Trend. Yeah, Google Trend and Google AdWords. Postings. A lot of times postings will have quick information, a blurb, and it'll also have a picture. There are two different types of uh, designs when it comes to this. This is, would be a layout of 
a uh, a blog page, but not the blog the blog the actual blog. And depending on what your blog is going to look like, we'll figure that out shortly. But we can do that because the theme each theme's different, so we'll we'll have to work work on that. I usually don't do that till like the last end of it. Okay. And then the last one is contacts. You can say contact or contacts, either one's fine. Since we got contacts with the S in the nav, we're just gonna make this contacts. We're going to call this a form. Mm -hmm. In the form, we need to know what kind of stuff we need in our form. Um, so probably something real simple is going to, we're going to do name.
Resume recording. All right. So we have um, our post. We kind of n- understand that. Uh, we're gonna go. We, we are gonna do classic uh, editor, maybe, but maybe mm-hmm. not need to use revisions. We're gonna have revisions. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, we're almost. Let's see we're, how far are we down here. Yeah, you see, mm. we're not far. We we went through almost. Oh my god. <laughs> day all right so now we got that the next thing we're going to do is um look at pictures so we need to find pictures for the event for the uh, website right yep all right so we can use free pics three pics like that this website right here allow you to do a couple of them for free you can do uh hr uh like that pictures okay resume pictures or something like that or that's you gotta think cool of, is that three also yeah these are all you just put it where it says free license is free i see you may have some at the school that you might want that the school has so you might want to talk, talk to them okay. uh I like that, the picture. Some, yeah, those are the ones that I'm looking for. Definitely. Stuff, yeah, stuff like that. You just got to go through them. If you uh, decide to download, I think you're download download a few of them for free. Mm-hmm. Like this one could be downloaded. They want you to do some... Uh, now, some of them with a the little sign like that aren't free. So, depending on which ones you want to, you like to use, you know. Yeah, but I think it's like pretty good to start with already. Yeah, at least I have some picture for me to choose, which is really cool. Mhm. So we learned that, and then we're going to be now. These are formatted for print. So we will have to adjust them f- because what is print? 300 DPI, right? Mm-hmm. And so we have to do it for web for what, what, what's web? It's going to be 72 DPI, right? Mm-hmm. And so what we're going to do now, we have a, how much time we got left? We probably got about, about 10 more minutes. We can, okay. Now, I okay, let me tell you how I choose photos. Yes. I I personally, when choosing photos, right, Mm -hmm. I try to get as many multi-culture individuals or no color at all. What I mean by that, I don't want to intimidate anybody. Saying that is like, for instance, I don't want too many white people. I don't want too many black people. I don't want too many Asians. I don't want too many anybody, right? I want the perfect amount mm. if I'm going to go multicultural, right? Yes. Because we don't want to intimidate anybody. We don't want to put too many people that look like one way, and it, that's not your market segment at all, right? Exactly. You want to be for everyone. Or a Pacific individual, right? So, for instance, if you have an all-black school, majority black, you may want to have more black people in there with one white or a majority Asian with one black or one white or multicultural. But it doesn't matter. It has to be – you don't want them all the way you, – you got it, though. You don't want them all the way one color. Mm-hmm. Yep. And you don't want them all female and you don't want them all male. Right. You want a nice mixture. They can be blurred out a little bit. So if you think that you have, like this one right here looks really good, right? Mm-hmm. You see, th- this guy right here, he, mm-hmm. he, he he's close enough to, you know, I can tell what co- a, a, co- uh, background he is, but he's close enough where you can almost think he's Spanish. Mm-hmm. Almost, right? Mm-hmm. Not 100%, but, or, you know, something like that. Or you have a female. She, she's okay because she's not too white. She's not too uh, tan colored. Yeah. Exactly. So I really pick these based on what it is that the demographics 
act on it. Like this one right here, this is too too many. Mm -hmm. You can tell that doesn't really hit, right? Right. This is pretty close. Yeah. Pretty close. If it if we had somebody a little just a little darker, it would probably be really wonderful. This mm -hmm. probably going to hit it. Now this is cool. You see, because you can't you don't really know what he is. Mm -hmm. You know it's mm -hmm. a male, right? Right. But you don't know what it is. This one, you know exactly what it is. Yes, the guy. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. So you, you get the idea. Okay, this is beautiful. You see, even yes. though this, you got to pay for this one, but because we have a <laughs> connection. Got it. All right. So th these are the images that I look for when I'm doing this. Mm -hmm. It's paid by picture. Yes, some of these are. Now, oh, this is a good one. Uh -huh. See how close that, but these are paid. If you I want free, you click on free. You got limitations on free, but you just put in a keyword and you can always find something like this is great, right? Or something like this is really nice. It's kind of universal. You don't really, you, you kind of get an idea a little bit about her. These guys, you can kind of tell she's probably the closest one you can prefer close to, but you can never really tell, honestly. Oh, this one is very nice. Mm hmm. Uh, every you, single one huh yeah. like age wise and race they are pretty you know evenly distributed right yes very nice except for these two old guys uh -huh. i don't know you may have older people in your college or they could be professors right yeah uh -huh. but these are a little bit more mature but they still but for all we know they may be looking for uh your students may be looking for something like this because this might be guidance mm -hmm. right yeah. So, for instance, this this could be on the uh, st you know uh, on the uh, staff uh, banner. Mm -hmm. It's a group of people. Yeah. Uh, you got to go through a lot of these images and try to figure out which one's cool. Like this one's cool, right? Mm -hmm. But we don't have a female in there, so we may that it could work it may not who knows you you definitely want to try to bring a little bit of everybody together the hands the resources is good yeah that's nice that is really nice so let's go ahead and get that one right we'll download that one free download we can use that one that's a great banner picture by the way yeah that one's good too oh that one's beautiful yeah these, i mean there, there are so many in here that you could use that I like it. I really like it. All right, so most now of the time we have to look for some picture, and that is good. Anything, right? Th these are a few of them. Um, I mean, there's so many different stocks you can, you know, look at. Like, you just got to really think about. I, I I like it like this, me personally. Yeah, me too. I don't really want to see faces so much. Me too. I tend not to pick like face. This I is okay. I pick but... something like cartoon or not like cartoon, like it's like um, picture this without the cool. face. Yeah, this is cool even with the faces because we got a lot of different uh -huh. guidance, you know? Yeah. Looks professional, clean. If you have students, you know, this is pretty close to students, right? These guys right here look young enough to be uh, in college, mm -hmm. uh, but professionals. And these are a little bit more older. Um, and also you can crop, crop some of these too. You just got to go through them and see what you got. Um, even if they're you, you get their backs turned or a little, even like the, something like this, you can actually just kind of crop them out a little bit. But uh, yeah, man, there, there, there's ton of these. And so that's actually good. We could probably. Um, you know, they definitely put that in there, put some of these other ones in there. So uh, tonight, got to go through them, download some ones that you like. Mm, okay. Uh, or you can just get the links. 
and then we can uh put them or up. i can send you some i have some i have the group picture so you can forget you know the home page group picture i have it yeah yeah the uh, pictures that are required for it go ahead and you can go ahead and yeah, send it i'll to send me. it to you tomorrow i have it yeah yeah me. send all that stuff to me tomorrow but yeah we're on and then tomorrow we'll start build yes. Wait, well we're gonna actually we're gonna start co uh coordinating it putting it together but we actually have some requirements on the course that we have to go through too so we'll talk about that tomorrow too but um to actual function it we're going the function will be uh probably well we can probably get close to tomorrow but we're supposed to do two days of this and two days of the other but we may only have to do one day or the other maybe i don't know it depends on how how fast we find our stuff Okay, so the the schedule is tomorrow with Bill, and then uh, what about when's the rest of the week? Like, what are we gonna do? All right, you, uh, tomorrow we have a class at ten. Okay. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock your time, right? Uh, seven o'clock. Seven o'clock your time, and then we have class on Wednesday and Thursday. For what? Like, what kind of topic is is that? Oh, did you did you do the uh, WordPress two hundred one? No. All right, you didn't do that. Okay, did you do the uh, SEO? No. Okay, so tomorrow was so all we have is to, to, uh, today and tomorrow, right? Yep. I must have another class then on that day on the two. So those are the advanced ones. Okay. Oh. So S SEO and then Friday we have the last class with you, um, some other did, people too, right? But you didn't do that. You're not doing the SEO, right? I didn't do anything at all. This is my first class with you guys. So I got to make sure I, I understand that. Uh, I don't know, because this is actually this is the first time I've taught this class. Oh, really? Oh, okay. yeah, I, 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 I didn't want to. I don't really tell anybody that I didn't, like anytime I teach. It, That's I OK. I mean, for me, uh, I'm fine. I mean, which are you think like my skill set will will be needed down the road for building a website, hosting our own server? And that's all I need to care. Like uh, backup, like you mentioned that. Um, what else? Uh, transferring the the test site back to the server. Uh, what else? Uh, uh, that's all right. We, we, we can work on that tomorrow. It's going to be a problem. I think you'll be fine then. Yeah, whichever you think it's going to be helpful for me down the road, just talk. Like S SEO, I don't know what is that. That search engine stuff. You probably. I don't know if you're gonna need it for uh, your your that business. Uh yes, definitely because um, yeah, I think so. You're talking about the robot robot dot txt, right? Or uh, no, no, okay. Google uh search engine. So when people look for your uh business or your can website, we talk about that too? Yeah. The uh, if it's in the class curriculum, I'm not really sure because my that's fine. What is the curriculum like? Uh, if you bought the 101. I don't know which one. I pay for 2,399, so I don't know what is that. 2,000, because I think, you, I'm not really sure which one is that, honestly. London, London. I don't have that with me. I mean, they're going to send me a, uh, they'll send me a thing tomorrow over it anyway, so. Well, okay. So, whatever is on the syllabus. For 101, right? Is that 101? I think it's 101. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. One week, London. Check it out and let me know, you know. Um, but yeah, we'll look at it tomorrow. Okay, okay. All right, and cool. Tomorrow. Okay. Same time. Same time. All righty. Have a nice evening. You too. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.